Hey guys, this is part 2 of the software tool for Windows Phone 7. In the last part, I showed you up to the camera application from the stock applications of Windows Phone 7 operating system. Um, and now I'm going to go and show you the Internet Explorer, Maps, Marketplace and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and tap into Internet Explorer. So, at the top you'll see URL bar. So from here you can type your addresses in. Go to where you want to go, you know, Facebook, Gmail, Yahoo, whatever. On the left of there is an icon, so this refreshes the page. Uh, it also doubles up as a stop button, so when you tap the refresh, if you want to stop, you can stop it. I'm not connected to the internet right now, so I won't be able to show you browsing of the page. Um, actually, I might as well go ahead and do that, I'll just connect to Wi Fi. Right now, I'm connected to Wi Fi, I'll show you a page. So if I go to Google, if you, you can see as I type, you get search suggestions here. So Google, and there we go. You can pinch to zoom. It's quite fluid. Nice scrolling action. Um, I'll show you some of the options as well. So if you tap the three buttons here, you can add a favorite, you can view your favorite, or you can view tabs. So if I view tabs, you can see it's sort of like an iPhone type thing. Um, It'll tap onto it to go back. You can also go to settings, which will take you to the settings of the internet browser. But um, I'll show you those when I view the settings uh, menu. You can pin to start, so you can pin a page or, or pin a web page as a tab thing. You can find on page or you can share page. So if you share page, you can share it with messaging or your email accounts. So I'll go to the next option in the menu. Here we go, into maps. Here we go, now we're into maps. So from the options at the bottom, you can put an aerial view on, you can change settings, you can get directions, you can locate yourself through GPS, and you can search for a place. So if I view directions, this is what it looks like. Um, I will find where I live, so Blackpool, Let's see what comes up, finding directions, here we go, so, alright, gives you the first uh, point here, the road names, gives you the time it will take here, um, you can choose whether it's by car or walking, and you also get a list down below of the directions, so that's quite good. Uh, that's pretty much it for maps. Um, I'll show you the next thing along, which is marketplace. So marketplace is pretty, pretty standard. Um, you can download apps from marketplace, but you will need a live account. Uh, so from the first menu, you see HTC apps, application, games, and music. So music's for Zoom. It uh, probably helps if you've got a Zoom Pass. Across is featured, so that's the next tab along. Machinima up there. You've got Neve Speed Undercover, various Xbox games. Next you've got um, the main menu again. So I'll go into Applications just to show you what that's like. So here you've got like a featured application. Oh, it doesn't seem to be swiping. Here we go. If I go back... You've got the top applications, new applications, featured, and back again to the featured one. Um, I'm guessing this is featured, I'm not too sure what's going on here. That might just be a pick of the day, something like that. But that's pretty much it for the marketplace. Um, I suppose I could show you a, an application. So if I go into uh, entertainment, here you have top, new, free categories um, I'll just show you three that'll be the best one to show you right so I'm going to go into something I've not got already so I'm going to love which I think is an HEC application it allows you to pick uh, petals off a flower so here you see the icon the price uh, ratings screenshots reviews you can either install or share it that's pretty useful um, that's pretty much about it for an application uh, screen. Not much else. You can view the screenshots like that. 
So uh, I'm going to go to the next thing down the down the line. So the next one down is going to be messages. Here you can see it's like a iPhone type um, chat view. It's threaded. Uh, you have <clears throat> which basically means instead of having an inbox with loads of different contacts and things, uh, they're all rounded up into one. So if you get an email, or I mean, if you get a text message from John, um, your messages to him and his messages back to you will all be under the same screen or the same view. So you can see a nice sort of speech bubble like thing. Um, you can type messages, you can attach emails, attach emails, attach stuff. Um, which means like pictures and things um, and then there's a send button so that's pretty much about it for messaging if I go back across music and videos so here you get the history so that's the last thing you played that also includes third party applications like the YouTube app if you're watching a video then you can see the you'll we'll see the last video you watched in the history uh, also you can see what you've been playing recently you can also see your new material so that's what you've recently synced and this is third party applications there that like link up with the Zune place um, I'm going to go into music show you what the views like so you have artists at the top albums songs playlists genres and back to artists again so if I go into an album show you an album view here you can see the name of the song and then a little play button next to it and if there was album art it would be next to unknown artist so if I just play a song here uh, you can see what it looks like so you've got a standard kind of view you can swipe down to change the song swipe left or right uh, you can pause fast forward also if you press the volume buttons you see a little mini player comes up here so that's if you're in another application and you want to play this uh, song or you want to change the ring mode you can do so next thing down will be office 